So what is up guys, Nick here, helping you to master your technology. iPhone 14 Pro Max facing off against Galaxy Z Fold 4. And we're gonna find out which of the highest price from each manufacturer is quicker. Let's begin with a boot up in three, two, one. And we know the benchmarks are always higher on iPhone, but we're gonna see how they actually do in real world stuff. So you can see right here, Looks like the Apple logo did turn on a little bit faster. And I know these phones are not super comparable. They're different smartphone categories. This is your regular style of smartphone. This is a foldable. You can see the iPhone does turn on a little bit faster. A lot of people don't really care about that, but I am showing you anyway that in terms of a boot up that the iPhone does turn on faster than the Galaxy Z Fold 4. Now, when it comes to biometrics or unlocking these devices, you can see that the iPhone is still employing Face ID, so this is still very accurate, very fast. It's quite nice, actually, do like it a lot. However, the Z Fold 4 does have an embedded fingerprint sensor right in just about the perfect location, right where your thumb would rest, so when you hit that, it just goes in. Also, it does have a face unlock up here. I don't have it turned on because I prefer to use the more secure metric, which is right there. Um, but it is faster than the iPhone because it'll just bypass the swipe. So overall, the Z Fold 4 is just a faster unlocking phone. You could actually not even look at the screen. So you could see it's off right here. You could literally just put your thumb here in your pocket and you see, it'll be unlocked. So once you get used to this every day, all day, this is quicker than the iPhone 14 Pro Max to unlock. All right, so as of the recording of this video, we are running 4.1.1 and Android 12. Now on the iPhone, we are running iOS 16.0.2, so they are on their latest versions. Now, when it comes to the actual general user interface scrolling through, both of these have the 120 Hertz adaptive refresh displays, but on the cover screen, the Galaxy Z Fold 4 is also adaptively refreshed, so it's super smooth on the front. When we go ahead and open this display up, it's also that buttery smooth feel on the inside of this phone. So either way you look at it, either phone is gonna be buttery smooth, day to day and for the samsung being nearly 2000 it should be buttery smooth but the iphone being 1500 for a terabyte they're both buttery smooth just in their general user interface neither actually feels any faster than the other to me and it used to be the iphone was always smoother but until you know samsung started putting the better snapdragon 8 plus gen 1 and the you know newer optimizations to one ui along with you know, just having those adaptive refresh panels, they kind of feel like the same exact buttery smooth. All right guys, so we've arrived at the app test and everything is closed out for both phones. You can see right here and right here. We're gonna begin with calendar. You can see a little faster on the iPhone. I left animations at default. Let's go into calculator. Slightly quicker on the iPhone, we'll go into clock, but that's only the animations on default as you lower or turn off the animations on an Android device, or like the Z Fold 4, it could be quicker. Z Fold 4 faster on weather, that's kind of shocking because usually the weather app's a little slower on Samsung phones, but both of them are actually quite competitive in their looks and their features. Let's go into App Store, Play Store. You can see Play Store faster than the App Store there. We'll go to Apps. You can see Play Store faster once again. So there you go. The Z Fold 4, loading some apps faster than the iPhone 14 Pro Max. We'll go into Instagram. You could see faster on the Z Fold 4, and then comes the 14 Pro Max. Hitting that, that's faster on the 14 Pro Max. Let's go ahead and hit this. You could see about the same, but you can see just much more content, much larger on the Z Fold 4. iPhone 14 Pro Max, a very large standard style smartphone getting out of there. One thing you'll notice too is that the animations just look so similar faster on the Z Fold 4 on both phones. And um, that's a real big improvement for Samsung particularly because Samsung has not been known in the past to be the smoothest phones out there. We'll go into Groupon and you can see faster again on the Z Fold 4. I gotta tell you, I've been super impressed with the Z Fold 4. It's been like the most impressive performing phone I've seen this year from the Android side, including not getting too hot, opening apps very fast, and sustaining performance. It's been really good 
Um, it actually reminds me a lot of how Apple does their phones. Let's go into Amazon. So Samsung is headed in the right direction faster on the iPhone. Maybe it was because we had a pop-up. But look at those animations when we come out. It's pretty similar. We'll go into Best Buy. And you can see faster on the left for the iPhone. Let's go into Products. Faster on the Z Fold. We'll hit Computers and Tablets. Faster on the iPhone. So they trade blows, but looking like they're even Steven here. Let's go into eBay. And you'll see eBay faster for the Galaxy Z Fold 4. So yeah, having this big screen and being faster than Apple's latest in a lot of areas so far in regular app opening is a pretty neat touch. Faster again on Starbucks. Set up out of there. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2 and see how it performs here. Apple said, shut up, Nick, I'm faster here. Let's go into play and see which one is quicker. And I do see Apple loading that faster. However, which one do you want to play a game on? This big old jumbo screen? I think a lot of people would prefer this for gaming just because you have much more screen real estate. But the iPhone has really good performance. However, that pill is all up in my screen right there. I'm just saying, in terms of a gaming experience, a media watching experience, I cannot just be dishonest. I have to tell you, the Z Fold 4 is more enjoyable. Let's head up out of here and we'll go into Subway Surfers. And you can see Subway Surfers is faster than the iPhone. So gaming still might be quicker over here on the Apple side for sure. And still a lot of developers like to develop new games and stuff for Apple first. So let's head up out of there. We'll go into Temple Run 2. Looks like we have a faster load, this time for the Z Fold 4. And for this game, pretty much similar in terms of how they're opening these up. And again, just look at that screen on the Z Fold 4, man. It's like two phones in one. We'll go over here and we'll go over here to Geekbench 5. Faster than the Z Fold 4. And there is the iPhone. This does have 12 gigs of RAM, so twice the amount of RAM as the iPhone. We'll go into 3D Mark now, faster on the iPhone. So what I've seen throughout this speed test here, this app test, this was a very interesting one by comparison to some of the other tests we've been doing. Z Fold 4 was trading blows with the iPhone. Some apps were opening faster on the iPhone, some were opening faster on the Z Fold 4. The conclusion I could just make from this auto automatically is that a lot of the apps on here are a little bit faster and they're a little bit faster here, some of them. So what you're gonna get if you buy either phone is just a different software. You're either getting One UI or iOS. Both of them are gonna perform outstanding for you. Let's go ahead and run through the application, see if we get any reloads. I know it's not gonna happen, but I'm gonna do it anyway, just in case some stutter happens, it could show us one phone is not optimized properly. But let's go ahead and get up out of here. We'll go into Starbucks. And I used to complain about Samsung not looking super smooth when reopening apps, I think they're improving that as well because if you look, they're getting better. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm only talking about Samsung. It's just Apple's default is just to be buttery smooth. We just it we just know it's gonna be smooth. So there's not really much to discuss there. But we found issues with Samsung phones before, but not this one. Z Fold 4 is not playing around. Both of these neck and neck in RAM management. Great job on the iPhone 14 Pro Max. Great job on the Z Fold 4. Okay, so here's your final scores. iPhone 14 Pro Max, 5377 multi versus 3631. Take a look at the single cores. What's interesting is that it's only 600 better on the iPhone 14 Pro Max, which could explain why Z Fold was doing so good comparatively to it. Um, I'm not gonna say Z Fold is technically faster. Clearly the benchmarks are quicker, but this is like a broken, I feel like a broken record. We say this every year. It, these things just don't matter in day to day. I've been rocking both of these. I was using the Z Fold 4 for a while. I've been using the 14 Pro Max for a couple weeks now. I'm almost ready for my review on this one. Stay tuned. But both of them have been rock star performers. Like it's incredible how fast they are. They're so fast these days that they can, they, they, it's like they operate faster than I could think of what to do on these phones. So either way you go, they're gonna be butter super fast. All right, so let's go ahead and wrap it up with a camera test, see which one can open their cameras a little bit faster here. So we're gonna do this with the Z Fold folded and we'll hit the camera in three, two, go. And you can see faster for the iPhone. Let me close that out, we'll do it again. Three, two, go. And I just wanna note, this is not a full comparison, but I just wanna know how easy it is 
to actually reach side to side on the front display of the Z Fold 4, just because of that narrower feel versus the iPhone. Uh, my thumb is like, it's like a reach to get to things. So like, it's a little bit easier for this front display. At the end of the day, conclusion, iPhone 14 Pro Max is not a major upgrade in speed versus 13 Pro Max. Z Fold 4 is a pretty nice jump from the Z Fold 3 in the CPU. I think it's better. It performs better. So it's actually a better upgrade versus its predecessor, I would say. Both of them top of the line. If you want the bleeding edge of innovation, you'll definitely want to check out the Z Fold 4. This is like a niche market of something that is just different. If you want the bleeding edge of Apple with their new dynamic island, with their fastest CPU yet, but it's more like a polished 13 Pro Max, you'll love the 14 Pro Max. Either way you go, you are winning if you buy either of these devices in terms of having the best out there. Anyway, stay tuned to the channel. Let me know if you guys want to see a full comparison between these two where we break it down, tell you which one to buy, stuff like that. We'll go over all the details. Thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Subscribe if you haven't already. Nick here. Be sure to be well and peace.